I just thought, you know, let's make something a wee bit special. So here we have the tissue, right? it's the same, the same sort of tissues you see in all magic tricks and stuff like that. We just put the tissue uh, in the hand and they, they squeeze it out. I'm not really good, I'm not a magician, but I like to think that I can make something go voila! Right? So, anyway, that was that. So, what I'll do is, because it's a new year, I thought we'll make a, a resolution. So we, we have, I bought these, and you can check on my, the list of videos that I've made, of, of my, of me going to see the Justice League. Uh, do we have it here? It served its purpose. It, it gave us a film, but robbed us of what it could have been. But then again, many people enjoyed the film. Okay, but again, we can't dispute the fact that something like Aquaman, okay, is yeah. Don't worry, this is an old video. I've, sometimes I make videos more than one a day, but I thought just release it at a different time. So, yeah, it's time to, now, as I say, I got these at, so one's like Superman, the other one's Aquaman, uh, Flash and Wonder Woman. So it's, it's time for me to, to say goodbye. I've worn these for a year, okay, to show my support for the movie. So... There we go, there's the... And I'm not taking it off as to say I'm not supporting it anymore. That's the Superman. And... There's the Aquaman, that used to be yellow. So, there you get the flash. And... Yep, that used to be the right colour as well, Wonder Woman. So I got these when I went to see Justice League and I've, I've worn it, you know, I felt like I should have something to mark it down to show my support for the film. Uh, I mean, I've been supporting that and uh, I've been supporting the, the Snyder Cut movement and it's, it's um, but I thought, because it's been a year now, you know, the new year, we've got to start fresh and we've got to accept the past and see what the future brings, you know, and uh, hopefully things will turn out um, differently than what's already planned, as you say, we've got, DC has got so many films in the pipeline, but sadly there's no sign of a Justice League, no sign of a Man of Steel 2, so we can live in hope, and, <coughs> yeah, there we go, that's the Brussels sprouts for the so, so what would we want from a Justice League movie? Should should we have the same characters? I would love to have the same characters and same actors that play them. Um, and we can take for granted that that film there that this film. That's all that we're getting, is this, then it is better than nothing. But I know that it's painful for a lot of people to watch because it's it's something that should have been reaching the heights of Aquaman. Now, and the studio must know this. Now, they must know what a tits up they've made getting involved. They... Uh, they must have learned something from the action, from the ultimate edition to that. Uh, that's just my copy I lent to people. Okay, I've got this in 4K. Because right, it's always, the, when it comes to DC, it's always the best. Um, but it's... We can't... Keep, the only thing that's keeping the past and the present is having to dive into all these 
haters and, and stuff like that. For, but for me, on an emotional level, uh, on a deep level, it's gone now. You know, the Justice League, there's no point mourning about it. I'll defend it still. I'll, I'll rip someday a new one the minute they start putting it down. But at the same time, I'll still see the point. Um, but it's... It's a scary, it is, it is a scary future, you know, there, there are good signs though, there are good signs, there are, there are signs that Ben Affleck is still involved with Birds of Prey, there are signs that he could still be involved with with the Batman script, and here's the thing, why the secrecy, you know, why is, are, are we waiting for Ben Affleck to sign on the dotted line, I mean we know deep down that Henry Cavill will definitely sign on given the opportunity but again it's it's whether you know was it his fault or the management team that actually put this idea in everybody's psycho, that psyche that there wasn't going to be another Man of Steel film now as I say and I've made videos on this it's so easy to make a Man of Steel film they made the Man of Steel correct but they've just got to dive in more with the character build and leave all the superpower stuff to the to the end of the movie and all they have to do is build on character and relationships and then put in jeopardy some of the characters uh, that are close to Clark. And that's it. That's your movie. Uh, and I've always made my case for Brainiac. Um, but again, we just have to... We'll just have to clink our glasses at New Year and... Uh, and look forward to it and and wish the DC all the best and I'm wishing all you guys out there a very happy DC New Year and hopefully that you'll stay with us and if you've got a beef about something about DC let us know in the comments below uh, let us know about a YouTuber that may be dishing it or whatnot, and let me be well aware of it and when the time comes right, I'll resurrect uh, the Facebook page and uh, I'll, I'll go to town on the person that's dissing your beloved and my beloved DCEU. I mean, it's okay for us to complain about the DC, okay, because we want the best for it. You know, we want all this, but it's still, we have to be able to see its flaws as well in order to... Um, in order to be able to give a good argument as well. Um, I mean, I don't want anything to dis be con discontinued. I don't want the CW shows to be discontinued because in the bigger picture, these things are giving younger viewers and the wider audience uh, a slight view of the DC. You know, uh, it's giving girls Supergirl. You know, it's, it's giving young boys that love running the flash you know it's given people i mean i know boys now that have that love the bow and arrow because of arrow so there is and dc legends it's a good family is actually if you put it towards beside doctor who just now it's it's really it's it's better than doctor who and i don't mean just because it's a woman doctor but it's Hey, Bebo, who cannot love Bebo? But the, so you don't want these shows to be ended or to be cancelled. You want them to go out. This just put your personal feelings to the side. I know I try to, okay? And I'm a hypocrite. I'll still buy Supergirl DVDs because I know that there will be some crossover event that I will want. You know? Um... I just won't watch it on TV. I'll have to wait until the DVD release. Look at this guy. But so it's been a tough year. It has been a tough year. But for DC fans, uh, Aquaman has has made it worthwhile. And and despite what you think about Aquaman, despite what I think about Aquaman, if it was Marvel and Marvel, it done well. And this is what I want to happen. And I've said it many times in my videos. I would rather hate something from DC. But have it be the most popular thing out. Because if it's more popular. 
that means the next time I go out, I'll see more people, you know, praising DC and everything else. And that, that would get me right there. Because they see the potential of DC the same as I do. So, have a good year. And uh, let's put the past behind us, people. Let's try and look forward to more better positive DC for 2019.